you expend some fuel, you do your best, but eventually you do have to make a decision. Sometimes that decision is to move on. Oftentimes we get asked that question, when is it time for me to leave a company? So in other words, there's sometimes people are working inside of an organization and they're trying to take ownership. They're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to be loyal to the company and they don't know when it's time to leave. Because if you take extreme ownership to an extreme, well then they're gonna stay there forever and everything is their fault. And when projects don't get completed, it's their fault and they could have done better. And that's actually not the right answer in, an, in a very drawn out fashion. So if I am making efforts and I'm escalating things as an employee, if I work for you, Leif, and I say, hey, Leif, you know, I haven't talked to you about this yet, but we need better tools down on the manufacturing floor. And you say, ah, you know, I think you can get by with what you've got. And then I escalate that to, hey, Leif, I, I, I just walked around the past week and I've been looking at the tools and I've actually got some pictures to show you. These things are unsafe and we probably gonna get some people hurt. And on top of that, it's hurting our efficiency. And you say, yeah, you know, when I was younger, I used to do the worst, worst tools than that. And then someone gets hurt. And now I write a point paper and I say, hey, we've had one guy get injured. I think it's because these tools, they're not up to par with what they need to be. We really need to improve the conditions for the team down here. Is there anything I can do that could help us move and get forward to making something happen to improve these working conditions. And you say, hey, you know what? We're not doing that kind of thing right now. We don't have the budget for it. We're trying to do a lot of other things in the company right now, and worker safety is not important. Now, I might even escalate above your head to your boss and say, hey, well, I, at first I'd say, hey, Leif, you know what? I, I actually want to talk to your boss about this because I don't know if I'm doing a good job of making it clear how bad it is down here, but it's real bad. We've already had one person get hurt. Our efficiency is low. We really need to make some changes. And if I don't see those changes, I really want to talk to your boss just to make sure he understands what's happening. Now, look, every time you go above your boss's head, you're, you're causing problems. It's a huge risk. That's why I want to make sure I completely exhaust everything I can to get the message to you, my immediate boss. If I can't get it done though, I've got to escalate even further. And at a certain point, I bring it up the next chain of command or bring it up at the all hands meeting and the, your boss and his boss all say, look, we don't care about the tools, the same tools we used. You, sh you guys should be fine. You guys need to suck it up. Eventually, I got to say, you know what? I'm going to start putting my resume out there to some other, other people. Just like when you get to a point where a human being is not capable of doing the job that they are supposed to do and you've trained them and you've counseled them, you mentored them, it's time to get rid of them. It's the same thing when you work at a company, you've escalated, you've written point papers, you've raised your hand, you've tried the indirect approach, you've done everything that you can to get the message across that we need changes in these various areas and you failed and you have made no progress, it might be time to start putting that resume out there. So that's what we're doing, whether up the chain of command where you're trying to make changes or down the chain of command where you're trying to get someone to change, you expend some fuel, you do your best, but eventually you do have to make a decision. Sometimes that decision is to move on. Firing people shouldn't be easy. It shouldn't be the, the step that you want to take immediately. They fire people right away without giving them a chance to really correct or improve their performance. The next meeting we're in half, I'm not going to write you up. I'm going to write myself up. If you just cut away everyone when they make a mistake, that's not, you're not going to have a team in a little while. And we also see the opposite problem. Leaders that let things go for way too long. It's definitely difficult to fire people. How do you know when it's time to fire someone?